Hello everyone and welcome back to my videos. I wanted to quickly make a group subjects video to share with you what I'm using for my children that are kindergarten through second grade for their group subjects. I have already shared what they are doing for their individual subjects for their core reading, writing, and math, and I will link that video below. So for the group subjects, I like to sit down with my littles together and group them together to do the subjects together instead of doing like first grade science, second grade science, third grade science. I group them together. So this particular um, grades are going to be kindergarten through second grade. A lot of these are read alouds that I will sit down, I'll read to my children. I'll ask them questions. They're bonding. They're interacting with me. And so there is very minimal sit down work and writing and things like that. But let me share with you what our group subjects look like. All right, so let's start over here with these Abeka readers. So these Abeka readers are very small readers. And what I do is I just read them aloud to my children and they cover the basics. And these are for second grade. And as you can see, they are all for second grade. But I will bring in my kindergartner to join us in this second grade workbooks because they're just covering basic information. Regardless of the grade that you're in, um, you can sit down and listen to this as well. So I usually get the older um, the child that's the oldest grade, and then I'll bring in the little ones to join us on these lessons. So this is Our America, and this is going to go over things about civics, a little bit of U.S. history, U.S. government, some important leaders in our country. There is some writing activities in here that I will skip. I will ask them the questions. It is an interactive, just me reading, asking them questions, and things like that. So that is the History and Geography Reader. Now this one is for science, so they're going to be learning about their bodies, about animals, about the world around them, about nutrition, things like that. Again, I'm just going to be reading. I may make a copy of a certain page that I want my older son that's in second grade to do and put in a binder for him. But for the most part, I'm just reading aloud to him for these and asking him questions. Okay, so now let's go on to health, safety, and manners. Another Abeka reader. And as you can see, they're short readers. They're small. And again, I will read again. And just a little bit at a time, read to them. We don't do every single book every day. We just do a little bit at a time. So for example, Monday we'll do science. Tuesday we will do health, safety, and manners. Wednesday we may do our history and geography reader, and I'll be reading a little bit at a time. Here's this first encyclopedia of science, and I've read this to my kids. My older kids have read through it already. I've read to them, and it just talks about the basics of science and the universe, how the world works, uh, weather, living things, their bodies, and it's just fun facts about the world around them. And I'm just going to be reading a little bit at a time whenever we do our science. So these are the read alouds that we're using for science, uh, for social studies and manners. Now let's move on to this elementary science uh, workbook. And I got two of these workbooks. They are meant for grades K through second grade. They don't require any writing. It just requires circling, drawing lines, coloring. And this is going to cover some of the basic concepts for science for little ones and they're going to love doing this together it is a book that i'm just going to do a page at a time and just going to cover all of those basics that i want them to cover for science and they're going to absolutely love doing this book um, the book is going to cover uh, major bodies of water it's going to cover major landforms. There's a lot of different concepts in here, like the water cycle, your body, uh, things such as paper and wood and senses, just many things that are going to be covered here in this elementary uh, science workbook. And I'm going to link that below for you guys. Okay, so moving on now to um, this kids uh, STEAM workbook. So this one I got just to have as a fun way to do experiments once or twice a month with my kids. STEM, for those of you who don't know, it is uh, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And these are just going to be like fun projects that we can pull out once or twice a month that I can do with my kids. 
and I will ask them what you got what do you guys want to do this month or um, I'll do it twice a month if I see I can fit into our schedule but I think it'll be a fun thing that they can do together and learn about um, science technology engineering and math let's move on to Spanish I am raising my children to be bilingual and here I have this Spanish learning folder where my little ones can learn the basics of Spanish and we're just gonna go over those basics together a little bit at a time we're going to be making sure that they know their numbers they know the body parts and we're gonna use this little pointer and just go over in our binder every day we go over all these basics we have clothing items family days of the week months of the year uh, we have seasons these are action verbs the beach there's so much in here um, that they're going to just be learning and they're all them thematic so it's this one is the jungle different things this one's food items and so on so they're going to be going to be learning all of these different spanish uh, words um, together so that is called the um, Spanish learning folder, and I'll link that below as well. My kids are also going to be um, going over this Edgar Myers Bible storybook that I'm going to be reading to them. It's just a great illustrated Bible storybook. One of the best ones that I have found. I've done it with my older children already. They've gone through it, and we're going to be going over it a second time. Just an amazing, amazing book about the stories in the Bible and they're very, very accurate. And I highly recommend if you're looking for a Bible storybook, this one is phenomenal. We'll read a little bit each day in the morning. Here are some other books that I wanna do with my kids. This is the Children's Book of Virtues. I am a fan of the Children's Book of Virtues by William J. Bennett. I have the older version for my kids, the, the one that's really thick that brings all of the stories. But this one is for the littles and this is um, illustrated version that I like doing with my little kids. It's going to teach them about manners, about virtues, about being honest and loyal, and different things like that. Just a phenomenal, and it's illustrated. It's going to teach them how to say please. And these are all illustrated stories. So everything is taught with stories. So I really, really highly recommend this book as well. Here's another one, A Child Gardener Verses that I do with all of my littles. This is just poems by Robert Louis Stevenson and just beautiful illustrated poems that I love reading, even if it's just once a week. Pick a poem and read it to them. I can even have them memorize the poems as well. Just beautiful. Okay, and aside from that, my kids are also doing a science-based program online that I wanna show you. Let me bring you over to the computer now to show you this program. Okay, so here we are on the computer. We are using Journey Homeschool Academy for video science lessons that my kids are doing together. And I have the Earth Science Elementary Level A for them. And this is for children ages six to about 12, 11 or 12. And they have different courses that you can use for elementary, for middle school, and even for high school. Um, but we are doing the Earth Science Elementary Level A. And let me show you what that looks like. So once you open it up, you have all of your lessons on the sidebar here. And for this particular course, there are 30 video lessons. So we can do one a week for them or two a week if they want to. And let me give you an example. So the videos are about 20 minutes long or so. So they get to watch a video with each of the lessons. So it's, that way it's more visual and interactive for them than just someone reading to them. And then once they finish wa watching the video, um, they can mark the video uh, complete. And then there's extra material that you can have for them. So you can create like a science binder for them where they get to answer questions. For the little ones, they, there could be coloring pages for them if that's all they can do, color. For the older ones, there are questions that they can answer and there's also quizzes that they can take. There's copy work. And I think I love that each lesson comes with this supplemental material. Um, so this is called Journey Homeschool Academy. And I will link below a link to this academy. Uh, I, I really love it because I'm going to be able to group all of my kids together to do these science-based lessons together. 
Okay, so that is what we are using for our group subjects for kindergarten through second grade. I will link all of the resources that I mentioned in the video, including our elementary science or Spanish learning folder, all of these books. A lot of these Becca readers, I get them on eBay secondhand used to save money. I'll also link that below. Keep in mind that Teachers Pay Teachers has a 20% sale just today and tomorrow. So take advantage of that sale that's going on. I'm not sure when they're going to have it again. I'm going to link everything below. If you want to know what I'm using with my older kids, I do have that in my private membership community where I dive deep and share you what I, do, what I use for the older grades and what I use for their electives and for their individual subjects. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.